Hey guys, Mr. Moki Moki here, and today I am uh, going to show you guys Gladiator Beasts with Aguster. So I was listening to Capital G and uh, Drew talk about if Aguster's good, Aguster's bad. So I was just like, oh, you know what? Fuck Therio. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to test this guy out, see how he does. Um, now you're talking to a guy who really does not know anything about Gladiator Beasts. Like, I know they tag in and stuff and contact fusion and all that fun, fun stuff. So, you know. Um, but basically, I'm a, I'm a rookie. So me doing these dual videos, you might leave... For somebody who's good at Gladiator Beasts, you might see me do some stupid stuff, but in the end, it worked out. And to get dual videos for Gladiator Beasts is really hard because I've, I've pretty much won 90% of the matches that I've been doing Gladiator Beasts. And I've been, do, I've been testing out since uh, uh, Capital G uh, made his video. So, yeah, I've been trying to see what's been going on there so here we go so gladiator beasts are pretty much what I found out is they're pretty much the definition of set 5 go so here I'm facing gustos for the first duel um, doing all that jazz so I decided to do the respite build that Cap G was talking about and when I used Respite and got, on, got only a Test Tiger, really, really annoyed the crap out of me. But um, this was a closed duel anyway. So I get Bestiari, Torrentials me, and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm going to die. I have nothing. This guy gets this guy gets all the hope in this uh, in this duel too. So he gets this guy like three times. Gets all those guys. Luckily, since this deck is set 5 go, I was able to uh, mirror force him. And then the worst possible thing happens. I draw the Augustal or the Augustor. And I was just like, oh, my lord. This, this is the worst. So there... You, you, there's some proof where Guster can be bad. You draw into it. You really have nothing that you can do other than respite in this build. And I and I'm not really a big fan of respite after testing the whole entire deck. So I was just like, yeah, this is awful. Um, it's and test tiger's not really doing much in this deck or sorry in this game. But I really like test tiger. I don't really know what. Um, don't really know what Capital G was talking about when you shouldn't use Test Tiger because he really does help out. Um, and luckily, I drew the friggin' Chariot so I can respite and draw three. Um, so I guess that's I guess that's a good thing for respite right there. Um, so use it if you want. Use respite if you want. If you're going to use a Guster, I'm not. I'm really on the fence about it because it can it can help out with a Guster, but at the same time. I'm not 100% sure. Now he, I number 101. He, take, he gives me this fucking Goldo, and I'm just like, oh, thank God for Wabaku. Um, so pretty much, I'm banking on that he attacks his own Goldo, so that I can mirror force him, and that I keep this quest right here. <clears throat> so I'm really, I'm really down right now. So I have to. He threatening roars me. I'm like, okay, okay, fuck this. I'm going for Beelzeboss and clearing his whole entire field. So this was like really close. This was a really close game. Even though Augusta didn't really do much in this game, he this game really shows like how he he can clog your hand, but it also shows that Respite could be a good way to use him too. So use him in your own discretion. I'm not saying Augusta is a bad card, but We'll go more into detail when we see more dual videos. So he has this Pandaborg thing that I've seen for the first time. And uh, it's just hilarious. So I don't know. And this is pretty much where it's game. He can't really do much now. He was on the verge of winning, but I turned everything around. So it was fun. 
This this thing is too this thing is too good, honestly. This uh Beelzeboss. It's it's really good. I'm sad that it's secret, but at the same time I'm not. So I chariot his Goldo. Pretty much attack for game. It's all that fun stuff. Next we have um game versus black wings. So he goes pot of duality, gets his Bora, and he he really revealed a lot of good traps there. So I was just like, man, he must not have any monsters if he needs to go for Bora. So I was just like, fuck it. He sets three. I MST two of them. Dimensional prisons by Laquario is really sad. So he has the second duality, gets his Icarus attack. So I was just like, fuck it. I'll get rid of that Bora in that way. I don't have to deal with that Icarus attack. So I get my quest, do that, get my beater, becomes 21. Um, here's where it ends up bad because he actually draws, draws the Sirocco with the Black Whirlwind, gets the Gale, attacks over me. And so I'm in a little bit of a bad spot because he summons this thing. Um, but here's where Guster actually comes in handy. Um, and I'll pause it right here because... Here's where Test Tiger actually really does work, because I couldn't attack into that fucking thing. He, well, the Sickers attack doesn't matter, but, you know, he's, I can't attack into it. There's no way else to destroy it. Like, I have Darius in hand, so this is where Guster comes in. Test Tiger works, and for some reason an error occurs in the replay, but basically what happens is I uh, get the... Darius effect off. I get the best Diary overlay into number 101. Take that, take that stupid Stardust, and then proceed to attack for almost game. He really can't do anything afterwards, so I won the game there. So it was a, it was a fun duel, and really shows off that Augusta can uh, work out quite well. And here we have. Uh a little bit of Gladiator Beast vs. Light Sworns. And first first time I did not draw anything but the Test Tiger. And I had to just set five and pass. It it was a little uphill battle for him because it was I don't know, it was quite of an, an annoying duel at the same time as well. But I was just like, Oh my lord, I'm not gonna draw any Gladiator Beasts forever. So he gets the Lila, I Torrential, he compulses his own Lila back. And look at all look at all these threats right here. Look at all these threats in his in his hand right now. And I was just like, oh dear lord, what in what in Sam Hill is going on? Get he gets the tour guide. And this is like I love you, Test Tiger, I love you, but seriously, where is the friggin' gladiator beast? Um and he gets his Lila off, so I was just like, whatever. So you can you can see my frustration right here where I was not able at all at all to summon anything or do anything and he gets his Lila off again, I fiendish chain it and it's getting quite it's getting quite the annoyance right now and I draw a second test tiger. I could not believe my eyes. I I was absolutely devastated. He he ditches his dark hole because he's like, oh, I guess my opponent's not getting any friggin' monsters. So he summons this thing, gets uh, gets the dark armed. I had to, I had to compulse this back, and if I did not have Wabaku face down, I would have lost. This thing, this guy plays Primal Seed. Like what? So thankfully I had dark hole, so I can just do that. I I drew the Gladiator Beast proving ground, but I was just like, whatever, it's not going to do anything. This guy has Zen mains. So he gets he gets this Chaos Sork off. So I was like, finally, I can do stuff. So Test Tiger comes through once again. Mermillo, pop that thing. Test Tiger once again. A quest. Get the thing back. Battle phase. Destroy that thing. Get this thing. Remove the Necro Gardener. And set all friggin' four again. So this was fun. Then he JDs. And I was just like, dude, I just got back the War Chariot. What are you doing? Um, it was fun. And then I drew the Augusta, so I was just like, oh, dear lord, what is happening? So yeah, um, he pretty much realizes that this is game over now. He really can't do anything. He can Necro Gardena as long as he wants, but he 
really can't do much to my back row at all. This thing might have saved him, but there's there's nothing there's nothing really. But I it, this this duel doesn't really show off Augusta, but he doesn't really help out as much. So in a way, I I still feel that you should run one because he he does he does do stuff. I'm not gonna lie, he does. Um, but when you draw him, it's the most devastating thing in the world. And there's just no way to get him out un unless you're tributing him. So, um, if you want to play Respites, go ahead. Um, if you're playing Augusta, it couldn't hurt. But remember, there's going to be times where you draw where you draw Augusta and you don't have a Respite and you're pretty much pretty much fucked. So, yeah. Um, this deck also has three Proving Ground and two Tanky. I don't really feel like you need three Tanky because you only have Darius and Laquari, so you should be good. But, um, once again, I'm kind of looking for Capital G's input on this, so he's he's better at GB's than I am. So, uh, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a happy, happy, happy new year. Peace.